everyone. Welcome to Lives with Purpose. I'm Samika Bizari, and today the purpose of this class is to work your whole body, mobilize your spine, stretching many parts of your body while strengthening your core, your upper body, and your lower body. It's a basic reformer class, so let's go ahead and start. We're going to start seating, and I have a uh, Merrifield reformer. I have now three full spring tension, which is the red spring tension right now. I like to start a little bit sitting on the reformer, so feel comfortable, relax the shoulders. Align your head and shoulders and your hips, all in the same alignment. We're just gonna do some breathing. Put your hands over here on the lower abdominal, and you're gonna inhale the nose, and exhale the mouth, like a little forcefully, to really feel the abdominal compress it in away from your hands. So you're gonna inhale, and exhale, press your abs in. Really connect that deep abdominal. That's a, those are deep abdominals. Again, inhale. Exhale, feel your abdominals going away from your hands, towards your spine. Feel like a corset all around your body. That's your core. Again, inhale. Relax the shoulders. Exhale. Now try to keep that engagement. Try to lift your pelvic floor a little bit as well. And now focus on the side of the ribcage. So we're going to inhale, expand the ribcage sideways. And exhale. Again, inhale. Exhale while still maintaining that deep abdominal engage with spine nice and tall. One more time. Inhale. And then exhale. Very nice. Bring your hands here. We're going to mobilize the spine. Inhale nice and tall. Exhale, keep your abs engaged. You're gonna soften your chin down, round the back, go forward a little bit. Breathe in now, expanding to the back. And exhale, roll back up. Again, inhale. Exhale, press your abs in, flex the spine from the top all the way to like the middle of the spine, to your waistline. Breathe in there. And exhale, roll back up. Again, breathe in. Exhale, stay, breathe in here, and then exhale, roll all the way back up. Very nice. Let's go to the reformer, and you're going to lie down on your back, and put your heels hip distance apart on the foot bar. I'm going to go in hip roll, relax the shoulders, the same abdominal engagement you did sitting, you're going to do it here. So you're going to inhale the nose, keep your neutral spine. Exhale, press the abs in. Now from here, you're gonna inhale. Exhale, tilt your pelvis under a little bit. So your, your lumbar spine is gonna don't go onto the carriage. Now start using the glutes to roll the hips up towards the ceiling. So you're gonna end up on top of the shoulder blades, okay? Breathe in here. And exhale, roll down. Maintain the carriage in the whole time. So don't press the carriage out. Again, breathe in. Exhale, press your abs in first. Roll through your spine. Use the glutes. This is really good on the back. Breathe in. Exhale, roll down. We are like warming up your hamstrings, the glutes, to mobilize the hip. And exhale, roll through. It's really good for your spine as well. Breathe in here. Exhale, roll down from the top of the spine, the middle, the lower, and then release your tailbone all the way down. Let's do two more times. Exhale, come all the way up, breathe in there, and let's roll back down. And last one, roll through. When you come to the shoulder bridge, make sure your ribs are not popping up, okay? So your ribs are connecting down, so that means your abs are engaged in the mitochondrial spine. Breathe in here, and then roll the spine all the way down. So as I said before, I have three spring tension on, but if you need to lower the spring tension, do whatever is better for you, okay? We're going to start the Pilates V, so it's a use of getting toes apart. You're going to put the balls of feet on the bar. So your heels is a little bit lifted, but not too, too much. Align your knees with the big toe. So it's not like you're kneeing your big toe out, so that doesn't affect much the inside of the knee. So align them. You can take a look at the line. 
Keep your tailbone down, keep your spine neutral. You really connect to the abs, okay? So when you press out, you, will, you don't wanna push your lumbar down, okay? Maintain neutral. So you're gonna inhale, exhale, stretch your legs all the way, hold the cap, and then come back in. Okay, exhale, two, inhale. Exhale as you press out, inhale, and let's come back in. Always maintain the abdominals engaged. Let's do five more. Exhale, five. Really tall to your spine. Four. Exhale, three. Go really tall. And two. One more time. And one. And then come back in. Now I'm going to bring your legs together and your feet together. You're going to wrap the toes in the bar like if you're like a bird in a perch, okay? Squeeze in your thighs. I have the same. You're going to inhale. Same thing, maintain neutral, press out, use the glutes to come back in. And exhale, two. So it's very important as you press like it's something heavy, that your spine maintain neutral because that's the most shock absorbed position for your lumbar spine. And six, seven, hold the knee cap as well, hold that. Eight, two more. Exhale, nine, one more time. And 10, and come back all the way in. Let's put the heels in the bar and flex your feet. So you're gonna inhale, make sure your toes are pointing up, and you're gonna press out, and make sure you're not rolling out on the ankles, okay? So it should be really neutral to the ankles. And come back in. And exhale, two. Neutral spine. Use those glutes. Use your quads. And exhale, six, exit, seven, keep that engaged, and eight, exhale, nine, one more time, and ten, and then come back in. Now you're going to go with the balls of your feet and keep your heels lifted. Again, try not to roll out the ankle, keep the, the weight right between the second and third toe. Rest out, come back in, try to keep the heels up. We are working the stability of your ankles and also your calves. Exhale, five, abdominals engaged, keep breathing. Pull your kneecap. Three more. And nine, one last time. Exhale, ten, come back in. Now you're gonna inhale to press out, keep your knees strong, abs in. Lower the heels down on the bar for that nice stretch. We're going to lift up and lower with control. And three, we're going to do six, four, we actually play all the way down and all the way up. One more time. Now bend your knees, come back in. Let's do again. Let's do five now. Exhale, five. And now notice if your knees are going in or not. Keep your knees straight up. And two, and one, lift, come back in. For four, inhale, exhale, four, control, three, exhale, two, inhale, exhale, one, lift, bend it in. Let's do for three, inhale, exhale, three, and exhale, two, push both legs, one, and come in twice. Inhale, exhale, one, and two, and lift. Last one, and inhale, exhale, and lift, and come back. Very nice. You're gonna open the leg, hip distance apart. You're gonna align your ankles, your knees, and your hips in the same alignment. And as you press out the knee, don't allow the knee go in or out. So keep the knee face straight towards the ceiling. Contract the abs, inhale, exhale, reach. Still maintain neutral. Feel the glutes engage. And four, my abs engage to stabilize my spine. And six, nice and smooth and control. Seven, control the carriage. Two more. Nine, one last time, and ten, and come back. Now you're gonna open your legs wide, and you're gonna turn your knees out. When you turn your knees out, it's from your hip joints, okay? 
So it's not all the way out, it's a little bit less. Align your knee again with the big toe. And maintain that as you stretch out. So your knees are still working out. So working the rotators of the, of the hips. And then come back in. And exhale, two. Holding that kneecap. Maintain neutral. And four. Nice and tall. Five. Exhale, six. Your pelvic core is gently lifted. And eight. My shoulders are relaxed. One more time. And 10. And come back in. Now, I'm going to do one that's going to feel weird for you, but it's very important for the mobility of the hip. So you're going to bring your knees a little bit closer. You're going to turn your legs in. Okay, like from the hip. This is very important to maintain the hip health. To mobilize in every direction. So you're going to press out. Your knees are going to separate, but they're going to be still towards each other, look at each other, and then come back in. And then two, really try. Maintain neutral heels, so I'm not arching to your spine either, okay? That's a five more. And five, maintain that rotation from the top of your thigh. Three, and exhale, two, one more time. And one, and then go back all the way down. All right, now we're gonna change this position, go to your side, put yourself up. I'm gonna do just two uh, heavy sprints, which is the red one. Uh, but if you want to do one and a half, do that too, okay? I don't know which uh, reform are you using, because you're going to do single leg, so that's why I lower the tension a little bit. So I'm going to put the, the one foot, I'm going to put my left foot, the ball of my foot, align my six bones, and the other leg stay on top. Now here, we really want to maintain neutral. As I press out, I don't want to rotate my pelvis. So you're going to exhale, press out, come back in. And exhale, two, keep really tall. Three, stretch all the way, pull in the calf, everything. Five, also try not to hike the leg, the hip of the leg that's bending. Seven, and eight, two more. And nine, one more time. Now I'm gonna add a bicycle here, okay? So I'm gonna stretch out and bring here. Inhale. And three. Just to table top. Not too, too close to you. Because we want to maintain neutral. Five. Six. So you straight up. Seven. Three more. Eight. Inhale. Nine. One more time. And ten. And then come back in. Very good. The other side. All right, so tabletop, abdominals engage, align your pelvis so it's not hiking, no rotation. So press out and inhale two. Keep your abs engaged so there's no rotation, especially your obliques. And four. Inhale five. Keep your abs engaged. Three more. Knees straight up. Now let's bicycle this top leg as we come back in. Stretch out and press out. Bend. Same time, not rotating my torso. And three. How I do that? I connect my abdominals. And five. Six. Two more. One more time and come back in. Excellent. Okay, times for the hundred. Okay, the hundreds. You're gonna be in a flex position. If your knee, if your knee, no, I'm sorry. If your neck start hurting, you can keep your head down. Okay. Some people have a little strain in the neck. I'm gonna keep my legs tabletop for this one. I mean, I'm sorry. You can keep your legs tabletop. But I'm gonna stretch out. That's too much for you. Keep the tabletop, okay? So do whatever is easier for you. So tabletop like this is modification. So you're gonna bring your shoulder blades down, pull your shoulders down away from the ears. You're gonna inhale here. As you exhale, you're gonna flex the spine, stretch your arm. And if you can, keep your pelvis engaged and stretch out diagonal, just as low as you don't arch the back, okay? And then pulse your arms. Anybody inhale? And exhale to the mouth for five counts. 
Inhale, one, two. Exhale. Pull your abs in. And again, inhale. That's the part. Exhale. And five. Keep your abs flat. Inhale. Exhale. Two feet all the way in and all the way out. Inhale. Exhale. Two more times. One more time and in. And out. Hold. Bend your knees. Inhale. And then go back down. And relax. Woo! You got warm. I got warm. Okay. I'm going to leave my two red springs on. I'm going to put my straps on my feet. So they push out first. Bring one foot. That's the easier way to put the straps on in a safer way. Press against the leg. Use your abs. And then bring your leg on the leg up. Okay? All right. You're going to do bend in the straps. So you're going to keep your legs parallel and together. Abs in. So I want your knees just to come up to, on top of the hip. Not close to you. Because I want your pelvis to maintain neutral. Okay? Engage your head up. Good inhale. Press out and do a little imprint of the spine. It's just so you, when you press out, you don't arch the back. It's a tend to kind of like arch the back because you're not strong enough to maintain that pelvis in motion the legs out. Shorten the abs a little bit. Shorten the abdominals. So your lower back is going to go down a little bit. Okay? But it's from the abs. Bend your knees. Go to neutral. Exhale, press out, do a little imprint. So it's inhale, and exhale, zip up your abs. And three. I'm also flex my feet and pointing, but if you don't want to do that, that's fine. Five. Exhale, six. Seven, use your breath, engage your abs. Two more times. One more time. Good, bring your legs in. You're gonna turn your legs out, you're gonna repeat. So keep your heels together the whole time. You're gonna inhale, exhale, reach out, stretch all the way, little connect the abdominal even more, come back in. And exhale, press two, and down. Three, go back to the chest, bend your knees. Imprint four, and exhale, five, and flex, six, Go deep on the abs. Seven. Three more. One more time. Now stay there. Bring your legs parallel again to each other, legs together. You're going to hinge your legs to the ceiling from the hip. Just go as far as you don't let the hip come off. Keep really your tailbone down towards the mat as your legs come towards you. You're going to feel a nice stretch of the hamstrings. And then you're going to engage your glutes and strings again to press away and use your abdominals. So you're going to inhale, come back up, hinge, and exhale, press. So everybody has different flexibility. So just go as far up with the legs as you don't lift the hip up, okay? And exhale, four to really target your hip extensors. Five, inhale, up. Press with the glutes. Six. Two more. And press seven. And one last time. And then press eight. Now I'm going to come back up and stay here. Now don't move the carriage. Keep your tailbone down. Open the leg just as far as you can. And then come back up. See, my carriage is not moving because I'm constantly pressing gently into the strap. So my muscles here are working at the same time. Stretch again. Bring it back up and then press down. Let's do it again. Inhale, come up. Exhale, open. Inhale, close. And exhale, open. Inhale, close twice. And press down. Again. Inhale, hinge. Exhale, open. Inhale, close. It feels really good. Open. Close. Press down. Two more times. The carriage still. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Press. Last one. So you're going to come up. 
exhale, open, inhale, close, and open, exhale, inhale, and then press it down. Very nice. Let's go ahead and take this off. Holding both hands, turn to the side, and then press yourself all the way up. Okay, now we're gonna do our exercise for our upper back, okay? We're gonna be facing that way sitting, and I'm gonna put just one string tension, um, but if that is too much for you or too little, can add a spring or lower the spring, but just make sure that if you add a spring, you are in the right alignment of the shoulders and your back. So you're gonna be facing this way, and your legs can be straight. If you feel like you're falling this way, this is too much of the lumbar spine, okay? I want to sit right on top of this bone so your back can be nice and neutral and decrease all that stress that put on that, right? So, or if that doesn't feel good for you, you can bend your legs like a, in a crisscross position, or you can just open on the outside of the shoulder rest too. So feel what's better for you. You can do this slightly bend your knee too, okay? As long as your back is nice and straight. So let's go ahead and start. Now I'm gonna bring the straps to your elbow. And it's really good to work all the back muscles to open the front of the shoulders, okay? Your hands are facing you. Pretend you have a table in front of you and you rest in your elbows there. Open the clavicle bone, add this in. You're gonna inhale, exhale, open. Inhale, close. And two, now make sure the rib cage is going down so you're not popping forward because that means that you're like extending your arch in the back. And five, control forward. Exhale, six. And exhale, seven. Inhale, forward. Eight, two more. And nine, one last time. And 10, very good. From here, you're gonna hold on the uh, straps, bring your uh, elbow behind you a little bit, and exhale, keep your shoulders open, stretch your arms down, diagonal down the floor, keep your elbows there, and just bend your forearm. Exhale, two, keep your abs engaged, shoulders down, away from the ears, and four, so you're working your triceps. Exhale, five, and six, let's do 10. Seven, we have to work those muscles. Eight, inhale, and nine, one last time, and 10, bend your elbows. We're gonna move to the next one. Now you're gonna hold the straps in front of you. Actually, if you cross your leg, cross the other leg too, so you're even up. Make sure you're a little bit uh, away from the edge, for about palm distance away from the edge of the carriage because you're gonna roll back. So you're gonna inhale, grow nice and tall. As we exhale, start from the abdominals contracting round the lumbar spine and pull the straps towards your chest. You're gonna inhale here. Exhale, contract the abs even more. Keep that C curve of your spine, go all the way over and then lengthen up nice and tall and release the tension. Again. Exhale, roll, breathe in. Scoop, go up and over like you're coming up a big beach ball. Go over, lengthen up, articulate the spine out. Let's do three more. Exhale, breathe in. Scoop, the abs go over, lengthen up, really good in the lower back. Exhale, stretching, breathe in, contract. Keep your abdominals pressing as you go over. Let's do one more time. Exhale, breathe in, and go up and over, and then lengthen up. I'm gonna be facing sideways, so we're gonna be going strap and put it down. And you're gonna be crisscross applesauce. <laughs> I like to say it like that. Nice and tall. This is very hard for you to maintain. You can put a little pad underneath your seat so your um, hip flex to get a little bit more opening to cross your legs, okay? So from here, you're gonna reach your arms, both hands with the straps. I have one spring tension, you can also lower the spring tension if you need that for this one. You're gonna rotate right on, on your center, okay, on, on the axis of the spine. Think about, keep your tailbone, your tailbone or your cis bones really heavy on the mat, on the reformer equally, okay, heavy. 
when you rotate. So you're gonna inhale here, exhale, maintain, right or center, center of the spine, and come back. So it's exhale, and back. And again, three. Now, your hands are gonna to wanna to move more than your spine. It's about the spine rotating on its axis. And six, really tall, from the abs. Seven, so your torso is moving the carriage. Eight, the rotation of the torso. And exhale, nine, one more time. And 10, and release it down. We're gonna change this thing a bit lighter now. I'm going to put just a halfway spring, which is a blue spring on this reformer. And we're going to do a little bit of rota rotator cuff. So you're going to hold the outside hand. You're going to inhale here. Maintain the 90 degree angle. Your club is going to wide. Your shoulder is engaged, meaning in the neutral. And your exhale is going to open like this and come back. Try to maintain the distance between your elbow and your waist the same. And three. Inhale back. Exhale, four, and five. Nothing I was moving but my upper arm rotating. Seven, one last time, and eight. Very nice. Now I'm going to use the other rotator cuff from the other side. We're going to do middle rotation. So from here, you're going to inhale. You can really like move out this way to get more range as well. Exhale, bring it in and out and two so again i maintain my elbow the same distance of the ear clap go wide and five exhale six and seven last one and eight change your arms again we're going to do abduction to get the rotator cuff the abductor arm again your shoulders in neutral abs in Pull out, maintain your elbow bent and lead with the elbow. And exhale, three, keep your shoulders down. And four, my spine also is nice and tall and I'm not shifting my ribs. Six, and exhale, seven, and exhale, eight. Now we're gonna do the adductors. We're gonna hold with your elbow pointing out a little bit. You're gonna pull it in. So think about really your hand really close to your body, like you're massaging your stomach here, okay? And four, so the arm from right on the side of the body, add that, closing it in. Six, two more, and seven, one last time, and eight. Very nice, from here, nice. From here, you're gonna go to the other side. So we're gonna rotate. The same thing, I'm going to change to my one spring to start with the rotation. I'm going to use my both hands. So my chest is right aligned with my hand the whole time when I rotate. So you're going to inhale nice and tall. Exhale, rotate. And come back. And two. You can lower the spring tension if this is too much for you. Exhale, four. Try my data center. And five. Breathe. One last time. And eight. Excellent. Let's change the spring a little bit lower. We got the rotator cup. So we're going to start with the external rotator. So you're going to hold the outside hand, 90 degree angle. Shoulder girdle is nice and uh, neutral. You're going to open out and come back. And exhale, two. Make sure you're not pulling my elbow out like that, okay? Maintain the distance the whole time. Three. And four. Exhale. Three more. Woo, those little muscles start feeling it. One more time. Woo! Okay, I'm going to move myself out to the edge a little bit more. I'm going to use the other hand. I'm going to... Rotate in and to you. Exhale, three, nine degree angle of the elbow. Four, exhale, five, two more, and seven, one last time, and eight. Now I'm going to abduct, you change your hand again. My elbow pointing out, 
So this arm is really close to my body and I'm gonna pull it out. And two. I just go as high with my elbow as my shoulder doesn't lift. Five, six, and seven. One more time. And eight. Now change your hands again and pull it in one. Exhale, two. So that's adduction. Three. Feel your shoulder blades going down. Four. Five, inhale, exhale, six, and seven, one last time, and eight. All right, we got all of them. Now what we're gonna do is gonna be facing the, the foot bar, and I'm gonna do one string tension again. And then we're gonna, go, we're gonna work the neck in the front of the shoulders, okay? So we're gonna be crisscross again, and think about, uh, I'm again to the rest, but I'm not collapsed. I have to lengthen, okay? You're gonna hold these straps in your hands again. You have doubles engaged. My, my rib cage is right on top of the pelvis. Shoulders are down, I'm gonna breathe in. Hands facing forward. Exhale, bring your hands forward to shoulder height and shoulder width. And come back down. And exhale, two. And as I do this, I think about not protracting, okay? Exhale. Four and five and six. From here, bring your hands like in an oval position with your arms. Keep that a nice and long arms. Abs are gonna open just as far as I can see my hands in the corner of my eyes. And exhale, bring it forward. Inhale, control and two. Keep going taller to your spine. Exhale, three. Shoulders relax down. They tend to go up all the time. I know. And six. Come out. Bring your arms in. Your hands are going to be facing up the whole time. Like you hold like a glass of water in each one of the hands. You're going to exhale. Reach your arms forward. Inhale. Open. Keep your hands facing up. Exhale. Forward again. And then come back in. Again. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Go tall. And come back. And very good. Reach and open, go tall. Reach arms, abdominals are working the whole time, two more times. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Last one, almost done. Exhale, inhale, exhale, and then bring it in. Excellent. You're gonna put the straps down. You can put also on the shoulder rest if you need to. Very good. We're going to do a mermaid. So the mermaid, you're going to bring your legs like a mermaid style this way. Okay. You can also keep your legs stacked. If you feel like you're hiking the hip too much, um, you can cross your legs again. Okay. Whatever is easier for your hips. We're not going to be here for too long. So your hip bones should be aligned, like meaning like it's not one forward, one back. You're going to hold right in front, a little bit in front of the shoulder here, so you don't rotate. You're going to inhale, bring your arm up. Exhale, you're going to press the carriage and reach towards the bar. Now think about this hip kind of like really heavy into the carriage. Do a nice stretch. Inhale, come back up, bring the carriage down. Exhale, arms down. Inhale, the other arm. Exhale, reach the other side. Inhale up. And that is it two more times. Inhale. Exhale, press the carriage, reach. Inhale, come back up. Exhale down. Imagine you are like a bread, your body, like in a toaster. So you cannot go forward or back or you cannot like rotate, okay? One more. Press on right, one shoulder is on top of the other. The spine is tall, the other side, inhale, exhale, right here when people go like this, okay? Keep nice and tall, lengthen, up and down. Excellent, let's do the other side. Same thing, I'm gonna align my body, I'm gonna look at my hips, and a little bit more forward from the shoulder, inhale, up, exhale, press your arms, reach sideways, inhale, bring your arm up, 
lower down, the other side, inhale, exhale, and up, and down, two more, feels really good, stretch the sides of your torso, stretch your lats, and up, and let's do one more time, inhale, exhale, reach out, inhale, come back up, go down the other side, and reach, and up, and down. Very good. We're going to bring the, the, the box into the, the carriage now. So we're going to uh, bring the foot bar and we're going to lower all the way down. Uh, you can go to like a, a blue spring or a red spring on the uh, reformer, on the Mercury reformer. I'll have a one spring finish and one red, the full finish, but we're going to be doing some extension and working the back of the shoulder, the posterior muscles. If those are too much for you and you cannot keep your shoulders down, I'd rather you to go a little lower on the tension, okay? Otherwise, it defeats the purpose of the exercise. So to get um, safety on the box, you're going to put your hands on the corner and bring the top of your thigh on the corner, on the box, and then the other. And I'll shift forward so the edge of the box is right on your bra line. This way, you're going to allow your upper body to go all the way down freely and come back all the way up. Okay? Your legs can be hip distance apart and your abs are connected. Okay? So, really important for the abdominal is connected over here so your supports your spine, especially the lumbar spine. Bring your hands over here. The first one, you're going to wrap over my glutes are active, so my legs the same height as my hips, not like relax like this. So relax over, shoulders go down, away from the ears, start lifting your chest, and you can press with your hands a little bit to lift a little bit more, but keep the bottom rib still in the box, just to target the upper back only. And exhale, go back down. Again, inhale, and exhale, come up. Hold those abdominals in, shine through your chest, and then go back down. Three more. Lift up. Shoulder is going down the back. Be careful the head going too high. And then go back down. And again, exhale. Inhale. Go back down. Last one. Project your head away from the tail for a really long, and then lift up. And then go back down. Now, I'm going to use this, the ropes. So I'd like to put my hands through. And you're going to hold on the ropes, okay? Not on the strap. Arms are long. Relax your body. We're going to do the same thing that we did with your body, but I'm going to add some arm sweat, okay? So you're going to inhale here. Abs in. Exhale. You're going to start pulling. Lift the chest. Bring your hands to the side of your hips. Open your shoulders. And then go back down. Again. Inhale, start pulling, exhale, come up. Inhale, go down, and then exhale, go all the way down. And repeat, inhale. Exhale, lift. Inhale, start going down. And exhale, replenish. And inhale, shoulders, lift the chest, open the shoulders, abs in. So many things to think about, I know. Go back down one more time. Inhale, and then exhale. Inhale. And then go back down. The next exercise, I'm going to bring my body to one long line with the rest of my body. So my shoulders, hips, and feet in the same alignment with my head. Stay here, open the cloth of bone, and exhale, stretch your arms, and bend. Exhale, two. So I'm neutral spine, abs in. Keep the elbow the same height. And exhale, five. And six, your shoulders are going to rotate forward towards the floor, don't let it. And eight, comfortable wide. Exhale, nine, one last time. And exhale, ten, and then go all the way down. Woo! I love the series because it really works all your posture muscles. So when you're going to stand up here, oh, it feels nice and light. I love that feeling. Okay. We're going to do the short box now. I'm going to bring the box over the, um, the shoulder rest and just add one more 
the intention there or two or three just so the carriage doesn't move we're gonna use the foot straps and I'm gonna bring my feet there okay um, I'm gonna sit right in the middle of the box and I'm gonna put my feet with the toes flexed so I'm dorsiflex I keep the back uh, of my shins on the box like my calves over here so I don't use too much my hip flexors slightly bend your knees I'm going to start with my hand right here on um, my lap, relax the shoulders, one on top of the other. You can do this way, you can hold this way, whatever is easier for you, okay? So, you're going to inhale, nice and tall, exhale, start rounding in front of the lumbar spine because my abs are working, use the glutes in my arms, come forward. So, I'm flexed, inhale, bring your arm above the head. Exhale, bring your arm forward and go up and over your leg. And then lengthen up again. And then repeat. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, use your abs. Go over, huge beach ball. And then roll back up. I am using my glutes and hamstrings to pull my pelvis under too. So we're gonna inhale nice and tall. Exhale, use your abs, reach forward. Stay here, bring your arm up, keep that C curve. Exhale, go over. Inhale, lengthen up tall. Let's do one more time. Exhale, inhale, and exhale, go up and over, and then lengthen nice and tall. Okay, we're gonna use now maple pole. If you don't have a maple pole, anything that's like a a pole that you can kind of hold with your hands. It can also be a fitness circle. It's just for, for you to have something to hold your hand to close the kinetic chain. So this is not really a maple pole, it's something else. But I use this kind of like open, pull out a little bit to get my shoulders engaged, okay? With your arms above the head. This exercise is an ab exercise, but I'm maintaining everything neutral. So but it's, it's a flat back. So you're gonna inhale. As you exhale, just contract the abs. Nothing changed my spine, and I'm going to hinge back just as far as I can without collapsing or arching, okay? Inhale here, and then exhale, come on top of my six bones again. So it's inhale through there, exhale, lengthen back, go really tall the diagonal up, breathe in, and come back on top of the hips. Again, exhale, inhale. Come back in, keep that flattened abdominals. Two more. Exhale. Inhale the sides of the ribs. Exhale, come forward. Last one. I know this one is a bit challenging. Exhale. Inhale. And come up. And then relax it down. Very good. You're going to put this away and take the box out. Okay. We're going to bring the bar, the bar back up. And we're going to do what's called the, the elephant. So we're going to do a elephant that you are in flat back position today, okay? We're going to do two red springs again. You're going to come up a little bit forward. We're going to hold your hand on the bar and you're going to lift yourself up. So now I want my feet flat against the shoulder rest. But if you feel like you're up like this, you can keep your bring your heels a little bit higher and stretch your knee. That might you might be able to keep more in neutral spine and flat back okay so i'm going to push my body as back as, as i can on top of my feet and try to maintain that flat spine so my six bones reaching that way and my head the opposite direction my ribs engaged abs in i'm not going to move my arms my arms just helping to stay behind the bar you're going to press out a little bit with my legs and exhale, bring it in just as far as I don't round, okay? So it's a hip nipple builder here. So then inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. So I want to come as far and close to the bar as I can bring the carriage all the way in without round my spine. And exhale, keep the abs in, don't let your back go forward, and three, and exhale, two, one more time, and one, and then bring your knees all the way down. From here, we're gonna do a knee stretch. This one, I want to be round the whole time, so think about your, like a, your spine is like a bow. Keep your abs in, 
I keep my hand against the bar. I stop my elbows and shoulders are down. So I'm fully flexed over here, right? Round this spine. I'm going to press back again and bring the carriage in. So I press as far as I don't drop my hips forward. Okay, so maintain that C curve from my tailbone all the way to the crown of the head and move my hip at the same time. Okay, so it's inhale, exhale. Maintain that C curve. Use your abs to maintain that. Five more. Five. And four. Keep your body back. And two. And one. And lengthen. Very good. For this one, we're going to do a little modification of the thigh stretch. So I want you to put your foot on the side. And the other foot, I guess, is on the rest. I still with the two red spring. But you can go a little bit lower. I'm going to go one and a half a spring. One full spring and one half spring. I'm going to bend my front knee so my hip are aligned. So I'm not hiking the other hip up, okay? Keep your abs in. My hand is on the foot bar. Exhale, I'm going to press back. I think emphasize more the back leg to open the front of the hip of that back leg. And then come back in. My abs are working. Exhale, press. Inhale, come back. It's a great stretch for hip flexors. And in. And press. Abs engaged. Bend the front knee. And let's do two more. Exhale, reach. Inhale, come back. Last one. Exhale. And inhale, come back all the way in. And let's do the other side. Same thing here. Align your knee with the ankle. Push your heel all the way back. Feet are down. Rotate the pelvis. Align your pelvis, your hips. Exhale, press the back. If you need to lean a little bit, that's okay to get off of the back. Inhale, come back. Again, exhale. Keep your pelvis engaged. Inhale. And exhale. Feel a nice stretch in front of the hip. Come back in. And two more. Watch the shoulders here too. Your spine is long. So not rounded, right? One more time. And then come back all the way in. We're going to do a hip row to really work your hamstrings and glutes. I'm going to put just two and a half a spring. You can put three or you can put uh, just two. Okay? All right, so lie down. Make sure your head rests flat. Hip, uh, legs hip distance apart. You're going to do another hip roll because you're going you're to push the carriage out this time. So you're going to inhale here. Exhale, you're going to imprint. Use your abs. Roll up. Use the glutes. Come all the way up. So I have one long line from my knee to my shoulders. Inhale here. As well, exhale, I'm going to press out. I'm going to hover my body down so I'm still in neutral position. Squeeze the glutes to bring the carriage in. Keep the carriage all the way in and roll the spine down. Okay, that was one step. Let's do four more. Exhale, come up. Breathing at the top. Exhale, press out. Inhale, squeeze to bring it up. And roll the articulate. This is really good on the spine. Again, exhale. My legs are parallel. Breathing at the top. Exhale, press, hover your body with the carriage. And I'm squeezing my glutes, bring my hips up as I bend my knee, and roll back down. Yes, two more. It's so good. Roll through, breathe in. Exhale, press. Inhale, bring back up. And roll down. Yeah, one last time. Exhale, roll through, breathe in. Press out, bring back up. And keep the carriage in, roll all the way down. Bring your legs together, high left toe, meaning above your feet, press out, and then lower one leg and then the other. So this is really good for your ankle mobility, stretch the calves, but also strength at the same time. And just breathe naturally, keep your abs in. Just make sure that your hips are not going side to side and side to side, because that means your back is also um, flexing side to side. Okay, keep your abs engaged 
and just allow the heel to go as far down as your hips don't go side to side, okay? So you don't compensate on your hip joint and lumbar spine. And just a few more. Keep breathing. And let's do two more. And one, the other side, and two. Bring both heels up, and then your knees come back all the way in. All right, we're going to do just one more exercise, standing on the carriage for our hip joint. Okay, for this one then, we're going to bring the bar all the way down again. And I like to bring the carriage all the way in. I'll just move my settings in a little bit. So the carriage is a little bit closer to that wood platform. Because I like to start somewhat on the hip um, distance apart, okay? We're going to come up on the reformer, always step on the um, surface that's stable. The, the reformer moves, okay? So always stable first, and then you're gonna bring your foot on the reformer. Now, here, you're going to bring your legs uh, really close to the edge, okay? So that you are like more like in a uh, hip distance apart. And make sure your feet are parallel and uh, aligned side to side, so not one in front of the other, okay? So keep the weight between both legs equally long. Think about head, shoulder, hip, and foot in the same alignment. Abdominals engage. You're going to inhale. Your hands can be here or here. If you have the tendency to creep up the shoulders like this, okay? So you're gonna inhale, exhale, press out, your body come with you and come back in. So my body's between my legs the whole time and come back. I just go as far and my pelvis is a fall forward. So I maintain this abdominals, okay? And everybody's different. So just watch for the right place from the body. Five, you should feel it in here. Exhale, six and come back and seven exhale eight two more exhale nine one last time and exhale ten come back all the way in i have one string tension one a full string tension so we can go down on the reformer and then come back up again on the other side one red spring tension, but if you need a little bit less, do so, or a little bit more too, okay? As long as you don't hike the hip and arch your back. So let's do this side up. You're gonna inhale, abs in, don't push the knees back, pull the kneecap all the way up, knees straight, exhale, press out, and come back. And press to you. Nice and tall, doubles engaged, three, Exhale, four, control the carriage in. And five. And exhale, six. Four more. Seven, control back. Eight, two more. Exhale, nine, one last time. And ten, and then come back all the way in. Very good. Be careful coming up. And we're gonna finish up with a stretch for the glutes. So I want to sit on the carriage with your feet down, and we're gonna cross one ankle over your other knee, and try not to let your knee drop in or out. Keep your both sits bones on the carriage. You're gonna lift your body up, and you're gonna lean forward. So think about you wanna bring your belly button towards your calf. And you're gonna do a nice stretch right on the side back of the glute here. And stay here, you're gonna breathe in. Exhale, relax your knee even more. Keep your abs engaged, breathe in. Exhale, keep going taller. Two more breaths. One more, long breaths. And exhale, relax. Excellent. Let's come up the other side. Same thing, ankle. Sometimes we do this and the other hip come off. We plant that hip down, okay? Relax that knee. You're gonna breathe in. 
and exhale, and hinge from the hip, like I want to fold the hip and reach forward. Your chest is open. Stay here, breathe. Exhale, try to relax every time we exhale a little bit more. Breathe in again. Exhale, let those muscles melt away. Keep going taller. Yeah, tell them it's okay to let go. And exhale. Two more breaths. Just one more. And then come on back up. And that is it. You, if you like this class, don't forget to give it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. And also share this class with anybody that you think will benefit from it or like it. Thank you so much.